Good afternoon, I'm Kim Baez. Former Robertson High School football player Santiago Armijo is in a juvenile prison tonight. Not for his role in last summer's sexual hazing incident, but for going to a concert and disappearing for 24 hours. It's what the judge called a major probation violation and what his own lawyer calls a major lapse in judgment. News 13's Dave Bowman is in our Santa Fe Bureau with more. Kim, Judge James Hall allowed Santiago Armijo to plead no contest to his role in the hazing incidents last April, in part because the judge felt the case against Armijo was weak. This is different. The probation violation was clearly a strong case. Armijo, who entered the court shackled, admitted he violated probation by sneaking off to an Albuquerque concert, then spending the night with a friend in Los Lunas. He also admitted he lied to his mother, telling, him the pro telling her the probation officer said the trip was approved. Armijo's lawyer said the teen was disappointed, being allowed, not allowed to play football for West Las Vegas High, and then three days later being told he could not play because of his conviction. But parents of some of the hazing victims said it doesn't matter. Armijo violated probation and needs to pay the price. Uh, he's repeatedly violated his conditions of release and in our opinion, mock this court and our families. To this day, Santiago Armijo simply does not get it. And Judge Hall agreed, here's what Armijo gets. One year in a juvenile prison, he could get off for good behavior in nine months. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Dave. Now, four of Armijo's co-defendants are scheduled to stand trial for their alleged role in the Hazy case this fall. Former co-defendant Jarek Padilla pleaded guilty this winter and is serving a nine-month term.